A specter is haunting the streets of Moscow. Actors dressed as former communist leaders Lenin and Stalin, earning money by entertaining tourists. But for some people, Stalin is no laughing matter. I am Commander-in-Chief Yosef Stalin. St. Petersburg, Russia's second city, and home to a woman who is opposed to any revival of nostalgia for Stalin. Olga Miller shows us the few photos she still has of her father, Valentin, who Stalin had murdered. He was arrested in 1937 and shot a year later. The authorities alleged he was a spy, a charge that was never proven. Either they faked his signature or they tortured him into signing the confession. The signature looks different to the one I knew from his hand. He was then sentenced to death and shot dead on January the 18th. Olga Miller's niece, Masha, never met her grandfather, but she's followed in his footsteps and works in a museum. Valentin Miller was an art historian, so the connection is both professional and personal, although his fate was rarely discussed in the family. All I knew about Granddad was that he was arrested and never released. And I knew I wasn't to ask my father about him. The only person I could talk to was my mother. It was an unspoken family rule. Horashevo is a village located between St. Petersburg and Moscow. A few months ago, it hit the headlines nationwide and beyond when it opened a museum about Stalin. The Soviet leader was also head of the Red Army, and during the Second World War, he briefly resided in this building to review developments on the front line with his generals. The room where the meeting took place resembles something of a shrine now, and one that has recently seen a growing number of younger visitors too, says the museum director. Stalin achieved more than anyone else. In 30 years, he transformed our state from the plowshare to the nuclear bomb. And today, we benefit from a lot of accomplishments that were made under his leadership. A view that some in Russia find appalling. The human rights group Memorial complains that the atrocities committed by Stalin are now being belittled. Journalist and activist Sergei Pachomenko is determined to keep the memory of the dictator's victims alive. As for current developments, he draws similarities between the Stalin regime and the current Russian government. Government leaders will say one thing, but what they do in practice is different. Officially, they condemn the crimes of Stalin. But if you look at how minorities are treated in Russia today, and the political opposition, I'd call that Stalinism. In St. Petersburg, Olga Miller is taking part in a project initiated by the journalist. It's called Last Address and involves plaques placed in memory of citizens murdered by Stalin. The many memorials mark the buildings they last lived in before being taken to their deaths. This plaque is dedicated to her father, Valentin Miller. It's just how I imagined it would look. I've been dreaming for so long of this plaque being made. A dream now becoming part of the fabric of St. Petersburg. The name of a man whose last resting place will never be known now adorns the street he called home. Today we are fulfilling a hope held by our family. A hope that Valentin Friedrichevich Miller will never be forgotten. Almost a hundred such plaques have been mounted on facades in Russia since the first went up last December. 